Hi, this is James from Epilogue. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about Lightburn. Now I know a lot of you would like to be able to print directly from Lightburn to your Epilogue laser. While that's not currently possible, we do have a workaround that will allow you to use Lightburn as your design software and print to the Epilogue dashboard. There you'll choose your settings and print right to the laser. Now there's just a few easy setup steps to make sure that your page size is correct and everything's positioned correctly so you can start lasering. Let's get started. So here in Lightburn, the first thing we're going to want to do is set up our device. So I'm going to go to Devices, and I will create one manually, and I'm going to choose No Machine. And I'll just give that a name. We'll be setting up a Edge 12 here, so I'll just call it the Fusion Edge 1260 watt. And set my page size to be 24 by 12 inches to match that size of my table. It's going to ask for the origin of the laser, so we'll choose rear left, next, and finish. And now I can see that that's listed under my devices. So the next thing I'm going to do is go into my printer settings. I'll choose the epilogue engraver, printing preferences. Now the first thing you'll notice here is it says portrait. We're going to leave this the way it is right now and go into the advanced. Next to paper size, change it from engraver to postscript custom page size. And here we're going to set our page size to match the table. Now this is a little bit strange, but what you're going to need to do here is actually reverse uh, each of the dimensions. So width will be 12 inches and height will be 24 inches. So the opposite of the actual table. I'll click OK and OK. Now that we've set that as 12 by 24 inches portrait, we'll change this to landscape. Now this seems to be the only way to make everything match up correctly, but it works perfectly. Click OK. Close that up. Now one more thing I like to do to preset my settings is to go into my job manager, go to settings, set my dashboard to split by color and hair lines. Now this seems to be the best way to set it up so that when you're printing over from Lightburn, all your processes are going to match up. Close that. Come back to Lightburn. Now something we need to do to make sure that our page size comes over correctly and that everything is lined up correctly is we're going to create a frame on the page. So I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to make this the same size as the page. So 24 by 12 inches and I'll position that at the zero, 0 point. And I'm going to come over here and choose orange, the T1, as the color. And what that's going to do is it's going to put into tool mode, make it a frame, so this won't actually come over to the laser. Now what I could do is just go ahead and come in and save this file as my epilogue light burn template. And now I could start all my files from this job and I never have to set up that orange line again. So let's go ahead and set up a little test. I'm going to draw another box on the page. I'll make that blue. And I'll add some text to the page as well. I'll make that black. It's got a fill, so I know it's going to engrave, and this blue line is going to cut. So when I print this to the laser, I want to see this in that same position on the page, and I just want to see those two pieces and no orange line. So file, print, keep colors, choose my epilogue engraver, and print. So now the files come over to the dashboard, and I can see here it's correctly positioned on the page. And it's brought in the two different processes. So I could come in here and just choose my materials for engraving and cutting.
and print it to the laser. So nice and easy. Let's go ahead and try a little bit more complicated file next just to test it out. So back in Lightburn, I'm just going to remove these two pieces and import a file. So I've got a complicated file here. It's uh, three different pieces. And I can see here it's brought it in here as a process to that I'll go ahead and use fill on so it'll engrave it instead of cutting it. I still have my orange line and I'm ready to print that over. Print keep colors and print. So once it comes over to the uh, epilogue dashboard, I can see all my files are positioned correctly and I could just choose my settings and print to the laser. So this makes a great way to be able to use Lightburn as your design software and still be able to print the epilogue laser. Hope you found these tips helpful and please join us again.